This is John Paul reporting for itsfoss.com. If you visit Its Foss often, you'll know that I'm a big fan of arch-based distros. In fact, most of my distros I reviewed in the last year were arch-based. This time, however, I'm going to try something completely different. Here's a look at the Ubuntu-based LXLE. The LXLE project has two taglines, Revive That Old PC and Fully Featured OS for an Aging PC. Started in 2013, the LXLE project is designed primarily to keep old PCs useful and up-to-date. They do this by making use of the LXDE desktop environment because it's light on resources, but it is still very functional. Unlike many distros, LXLE only includes the one desktop environment. To ensure that the system is stable, LXLE is based on the Lubuntu long-term support release. Each Ubuntu LTS continues to receive updates for up to five years instead of the typical nine months. At the time of this review, the most current version of LXLE is 16.04.3. As you expect from a distro designed to bring life to old PCs, LXLE is pretty low on system resources. According to the project's wiki, internet usage takes the most amount of system resources. The absolute minimum required for an OK online experience is a Pentium 3 processor with at least 512 megabytes of RAM and an 8 gig, an 8 gig of hard drive space. If you want to have an adequate internet experience, they recommend a Pentium 4 processor with 1 gig of RAM or more and 8 gigabytes of hard drive space. Unlike some distros that think they need to include the kitchen sink, LXLE does not include a ton of applications. There are just enough applications to fill the needs of most people. Here's a list of some of the pre-installed apps to give you an idea of what you get. PC Man FM, Pluma, LibreOffice, SeaMonkey, FB Reader, HomeBank, Arista, Audacity, OpenShot, Parole, Lubuntu Software Center, Synoptic, U System Core, Fire FTP, Gitso, Linphone, SyncThing, Pigeon, Transmission, and you get. There are more, but this is just a sample of the amount of applications that LXLE includes. Overall, my experience with LXLE was positive. It booted up quickly and ran smoothly. I was able to surf the web and view YouTube videos. I was also able to play some simple games. I have simple needs. There were some features in particular that piqued my interest. Some favorably, not so much. And here they are. Some distros allow you to pick one of several file systems during the installation process. However, LXLE only supports ButterFS. For those unaware, ButterFS is a newer file system, built completely from scratch and designed to improve on current file systems like XT4. ButterFS can support larger hard drives than XT4 and has tools for working with multiple drives and RAID setup. One thing that surprised me was that they decided to include SeaMonkey as the browser instead of something more popular like Firefox. SeaMonkey is more than just a browser. It includes an email client and an HTML editor. Originally in a Mozilla project, it is now an independent project administered by the SeaMonkey Council. Great name. SeaMonkey uses the same Gecko engine as Firefox, but still retains the look of Netscape. When I install a new distro, I like to run a command line system, InfoScript, to see what it says. The most common is ScreenFetch, but I also like NeoFetch. Both showed him useful information about the system, but ScreenFetch thinks it's Ubuntu 16.04. It's a small but interesting point. Speaking of Ubuntu 16.04, while I'm a big fan of rolling releases, I like the idea that LXLE is based on an LTS release. I think it gives the developers more time to work on their distro and fine-tune it. One drawback of having a distro based on an LTS release is the lack of up-to-date software. With a Ubuntu-based distro, you can install newer applications and other applications that aren't in the repos by using a PPA. Usually adding a PPA means using the command line. 
but the developers of LXLE included YPPA Manager to give new users the ability to quickly add a PPA with a couple clicks. Interestingly, besides the usual Synaptic Package Manager, LXLE also includes the GDB Package Installer and the Ubuntu System Center, which is my favorite package manager for a Ubuntu system. Finally, there is a neat little application called Exposé. It's a great way to see all of the applications you have open. All you have to do is select it from the menu or use the short keyboard shortcut. It is similar to Mission Control in Mac OS. In fact, Mission Control used to be called Exposé. Another application that I like, it's more of a script, is uCare System Core. Once you select the application from the menu, it opens a terminal and runs the sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade commands. It's a great way to update your computer quickly while you enjoy watching the terminal run. If you're a big fan of colorful backgrounds, LXE has you covered. All you have to do is click a button next to the main menu and you can cycle through a bunch of beautiful wallpapers. Overall, I enjoyed my time with LXLE. Like I said earlier, I was able to do everything I wanted to do and install everything I wanted to. It ran smoothly and it didn't eat up too much RAM. What more can you want? Good job guys. Have you ever used LXLE? What is your favorite light Linux distro for older machines? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please take a minute to share it on social media.